Now to a twist on your farmer's market. How about having one at night? That sounds like a certainly a twist. Rhonda Moore joins us live right now with it uh, from downtown Dayton with one of the vendors at the night market. Hey, Rhonda. Good morning. Yeah, there's going to be about 30 vendors here for the night market, including Leanne House. She's with Housemate Sriracha. She's also one of the organizers. All right, so you guys have been doing this night market for a couple of months, right? Yep, this will be our fifth show. All right, and so what are you going to be selling? Um, I'll have my Housemate Sriracha products. So we'll have our spicy Sriracha. We have our hot honey. And then we'll have our salts and a sriracha rub. All right, so the hot honey I was saying was something I never heard of. What do you do with that? What do you put that um, in? We use it for sweet and savory applications. That honey actually just won the grand championship down at the Cajun Hot Sauce Festival in Louisiana this year. Oh, wow, cool. All right, and I also want to talk to Brian Johnson. He's also one of the organizers. Okay, so besides like sriracha here, what other kind of things will you guys have here? Well, we'll have we'll have three food trucks. We're going to have the shakery, say cheese, and uh, sweet peas, ice pops are going to be here. Then also one of the things we're known for is we serve craft beer. It's a night market, so come out and socialize. Gotta have beer at a yeah, farmer's have market, socialize, right? <laughs> have a beer, talk to your neighbors, and get some produce. So. All right, you also have music? We're going to have a live DJ. Etch is going to be here, probably playing some funk and jazz music for everyone to kind of relax to throughout the evening. Okay, and what other kind of vendors? Uh, we have all sorts of cottage vendors, produce. Um, we even have a dairy vendor. Um, there's just so many different types of vendors. We're okay, see some. people with artwork, jewelry, mm -hmm. that That's kind right. of thing yep. as well. All right, well, this is um, something that's kind of different than your typical market. How, how did you guys come up with the concept? Well, you know, there's a lot of, uh, you know, we've been all waking up going to the early bird markets forever, and, you know, that we realize there's definitely a group of people out there who, who aren't able to get up to that or don't want to. Don't want to get up <laughs> so, so, you know, we'll come out and we'll be here at night so that uh, to fill that, that niche. All right, sounds good. Well, if you want to come to the night market, it is this Friday from 5 until 10 p.m. It's at the old Yellow Cab building here at 700 East 4th Street in downtown Dayton. And we'll be back at 805, and we're going to be with another vendor and see what he's selling. Back to you guys. A lot of people head to farmers markets to get some fresh food. Yeah, many cities have at least one. Well, Rhonda Moore is live in Dayton at one that's not your typical market. Hey, Rhonda. Good morning. Yeah, this one is quite different because it's held in the evening. And joining me now is one of the vendors. This is Robin Dakin, and he has what's called the art truck. That's All right. right. So yep. tell me a little bit about what you're going to be selling at the night market. Well, the art truck is uh, primarily the idea of a food truck turned into a rolling art gallery with paintings, pottery, and some eclectic things that I make uh, out of clay, wood, things like that. Yeah, go ahead and show some of the stuff that uh, he has here. You have a, a lot of nice stuff here. So you say you've been to the market before, right? Yes, this will this. be our second market. Once uh, About a month ago, we were indoors, which was a real intimate setting. It was a lot of fun. And uh, we had uh, sold uh, cookies with my wife's and business and uh, my artwork. And so you did pretty good? Oh, we did great. All right. Great turnout. Well, you're very talented and well, you have you a lot of much. nice stuff. Now I want to come up here and talk to Brian Johnson and he's actually the organizer of this uh, night market. And so you have some stuff over here from another vendor, right? Yeah, so this is the uh, local artist Travis Eads. Um, one of the, the goals of the night market is not only to focus on produce and, and food, but also to focus on the local artists that we have here in Dayton. Okay, so let's go ahead and show some of the stuff that he has here. Yeah, so he works with reclaimed wood and does a lot of etchings and, and burnings and you can see this really unique kind of recycled and reused and repurposed nature of of his work. All right, here. so there's going to be a lot of stuff here. It's going to be food trucks, there's going to be jewelry, there's going to be all kinds of things here for you to come and see. So if you want to come to the night market, it is this Friday from 5 until 10 p.m. at the old Yellow Cab building, 700 East 4th Street in downtown Dayton and we'll be back at 8.50 and we're going to be with some more vendors. Back to you guys. All right, looks good, Rhonda. Thank you. The farmer's markets are all over the Miami Valley. Once a month, there's one downtown, and Rhonda Moore says this one is quite different. Good morning. This one is called Night Market, and obviously it's held in the evening, and there's going to be about 30 different vendors this time. It's held on a monthly basis, and joining me now is Valerie Ricker. All right, so what are you going to be selling? I hand make live soap. I use all natural ingredients. Um, and I source from local farmers and growers. Now they smell really good. You have a variety here. I do. I have 10 different kinds available right now. All right, and so this is your first time doing this at the market, or have you done it before? At the I market? have done this market before. I think I've done this market five times. Oh, okay. What do you it's like about market. it? Um, a lot of people come out. 
I think a lot of the vendors sell a lot. There's a lot of good people that we get to hang out with. So That's always good, right? Okay, also want to talk to Mary Lou Beckley, and you make some scrumptious popcorn yeah. here, right? Tell me uh -huh. about yours. Well, we do um, homemade caramel corn. My husband pops the corn on the stove the old-fashioned way, and we have a couple different varieties. Um, what do you have here? We have bourbon bacon. We have caramel apple pie, and we have regular... And I have a sweet and spicy, too, that I use some house-made sriracha in it. So we try to source from our local vendors, too, and, and keep the market local. And they're different, because who've ever heard of caramel corn with I bacon know, in it, right? it's very surprising. Yeah, it's very, very hot. Everybody likes it right now. I and, usually sell out. And you enjoy coming to the night market? I do. It's very fun. There's music, a lot of fun people. It's just an enjoyable time. All right. Sounds good. That's right. There's music. There's going to be food trucks. There's going to be artwork. All kinds of things. So if you want to come to the night market, it is this Friday from 5 until 10 p.m. at the Old Yellow Cab Building, 700 East 4th Street in downtown Dayton. So come and check it out. Back to you guys. Rhonda, thank you.